Good morning, good morning, crafty ladies. I'm here, as promised. If you're watching this now, you're probably watching the replay. Um, enjoy. We're going to make Norman the gnome. And he's cheap and easy, and he's super cute. These gnomes are really hot this year, so make a few, sell some, make some Christmas money for yourself, give them away as gifts. Uh, most of the supplies, almost all, came from the dollar store of some form. So it's not expensive. Um, so I hope that you'll join me as we make these little gnomes. So when you hop on, can you just say if you can hear me or not, just to make sure everything's working on Facebook, just type in, yep, can hear you, or uh-oh, trouble here. <laughs> and uh, say hi, say where you're from. So uh, my name is Kim. This is the Farmhouse Decor DIY Club, where we work together as a club to make great, beautiful, inexpensive, budget-friendly things for your farmhouse home. Whether it's in the city or in the country, doesn't really matter because to me and my way of thinking, farmhouse is really a state of mind. It's all about comfy and cozy and uh, fireplaces and blankets and buffalo plaid and you know, you name it, it's farmhouse to me. So I love that vibe, so I share that vibe. Hey, Catherine, how are you? All right, uh, Canada is cold, I know. Okay, just give me a second here while I set this up on my phone to make sure I can see messages as they come in. Notifications. Oh my goodness, I wish Facebook would make this a tiny bit easier. That would be awesome, Facebook. If you can hear me, Facebook, all of us crafters would love it if this part was a bit easier so we could see ourselves and our comments and not have to make our guests wait while we do this. Scroll through, scroll through. Am I live yet? Takes about 15 seconds. Did you know there's a 15 second delay on this thing? So um, I'm sure there's reasons for that, but it's kind of funny when you're talking to me and then I take a while to answer you. Ah, oh, there we go, okay. Perfect, now I can see them on my bigger phone down here instead of my little tiny phone up there, which has Flipping capabilities, it's amazing that you should see my setup here. It's really a lot different than you would think it is. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make Norman, or whatever other name you wanna start with an N, the gnome. And uh, like I say, it's super easy, simple, cute, and I'm gonna get started. So Norman is actually like a bean bag kind of a thing, all right? And he's also, let's see if I can put Norman off to the side where you can see him, but he's just not in the way. Norman. Oh, you're in the way there, Norman. There. Well, we'll try there. We'll see. I think he might be in the way there. Ah, you know what? Off to the side. You're just going to have to bear with me. All right, so Norman is actually made from a mop, if you can't tell. Okay. And I love to use things that are inexpensive. So I grabbed these mops from the Dollar Tree, I think, uh, or the Dollar Store. And they come with lots of fluff. And they, <laughs> they come like this. We're not gonna cut it, right? We're just gonna leave it. I mean, you could actually take Norman apart and use him again, I suppose, but we're not gonna. But we're gonna flip it over like this and this will be his beard, okay? So Norman's beard is over there now. We need a couple of pairs of Dollar Tree socks. Uh, your choice, which one you wanna be the hat, which one you wanna be the body. I used a black body for that one. Um, but I'm gonna use these for the hats. So this will make two hats and this will make two bodies, all right? You'll need some elastics or some floss and some floss or some twine, that's okay. Glad you can hear me, Catherine. Uh, twine if you have it, uh, not necessary but useful. And rice, or in my case, I like beans because we have a ton of these dried beans around at my place. I don't have a lot of um, whole grain rice or not whole grain, um, long grain rice at my place. I'm a big fan of using what you have around the house. So I use these to make Norman's body, okay? Um, the black beans are called turtle beans or black beans. Um, they, I've had these for years. These will last for years when they're dried in your cupboard. So um, go ahead and use what you have. Uh, these are, this little thingy is from a canning supply um, place, right? So it's great for canning, but this is also great for dropping the beans into the body. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that first sock get rid of all that and we're just going to let me see I think I'm gonna use that for the uh, I think you'll use the hat for that one and I'll show you why later okay um, so I'm gonna use these socks for the bottom so a solid color is probably a little better 
if you don't have that, you'll see why later if you don't have these different colors, okay? They're fine on the hat. It's fine for the hat. So we're going to go this way instead. All right. So we have the single sock, and we're going to fold it down, and we're just going to start filling it up with beans. So that's what this comes in handy for because a little funnel wouldn't do a very quick job, but this makes it pretty, quite a bit faster. Now, if you don't have this, you're not. There's about a million other ways to get them in there and all over your table. <laughs> so, see, nothing's perfect on Facebook Live, but that's okay. I want to see the hole down there. I want to get that so that I can see the beans at the bottom. And we're just going to keep filling. First, we're going to get these out of my way so I don't look like such a messy crafter. Right. I'm not. Sure. Yeah, you believe that? I have a bridge I want to sell you. Because you just, I'd love to see what you, if you could see my craft room in mid project. It's like disaster central, but that's just how my brain works. So, good morning, good morning. Well, all of you that are on, say hi. We'd love to hear from you. We are making Norman the Gnome. Let me show you Norman. Norman starts with a G as well. Okay, we're making these gnomes. Hey, Tanya! I'm glad you made it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, if you share it, you can watch it again because it'll go into your onto your wall. So then you won't have to try and find me at my place. You can find it right on your wall. That's a great idea. Thank you for mentioning that, Tanya. I totally forgot. Um, and then other people can see it too. If you think that they might want to make these, you might want to make them together. Okay. Your friends will appreciate it. So you just keep filling up your sock as tall as you want. And I actually have another way to do this that is kind of a... A little sneakier but more fun I think and I'll show you that at the end it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a surprise so we just keep filling the sock until we get it see you're bumping I'm bumping you around there aren't I hey Manon good morning good morning Laura how are you guys are you guys together Manon is uh, recovering from shoulder surgery um, so I don't think she'll be making these, but maybe she'll make Laura do them. I know they're friends, right? So um, I've worked with them before, and I know that they're friends, and uh, they love to craft together. So I bet there'll be some gnomes in their future. I hope, I hope your shoulder's feeling better. I know that was just on Tuesday, right? So we're just going to keep filling this up. Beans or rice, dried, not anything, not cooked. <laughs> and one of the things I did think about that you could do if you were really interested into the Christmas spirit. Hey, Laura Lay. Oh, you're not there with her? Um, these are cute. Yeah, I might actually do these like a little party, you know, so you could come and if you live in my area, you can come and do them here um, in my studio. Uh, of course, I make I supply everything and then you just come have fun with me. All right. So I think that's good enough for now. Norman, this guy's not really tall. Okay. And you just kind of measure from your mop, which is going to you take your mop and you flip it. And it's just going to sit on top there, basically. So I think that's long enough. Doesn't he look like Cousin It? <laughs> From, um, oh, now I'm dating myself, the Munsters, right? So you're going to need to close this up somehow so you can use an elastic. But if you do, make sure that you still tie it with twine. Or um, in my case, I have dental floss too, because dental floss, uh, that stuff is sturdy, OK? It will not come undone. Uh, it won't come apart. Where an elastic might, um, over the years, might very well wear out, okay? So you want to put something on there you're going to be sure is not going to just uh, um, elastics. Oh, man, no, you made some, but in different ways. Yeah, there's about a million ways to make these. This is my version of it. And uh, so there we go, dental floss. And then I'm going to put a little twine on there just in case anybody happens to see it. Uh, we'll cover up the dental floss. So it's completely, again, completely up to you guys, right? Um, it's all about what you want. Now, I've got some great ideas here for making this simple, easy, and with things that you have around the house. So I'm just going to snip that off. I'm going to need the dental floss in a minute. All right, so then roll this down. See, the sock, you never even actually cut it. So if you wanted to, you could take this apart. And I've got my glue gun at the ready, okay? And I'm going to... I think I'm going to glue these parts. I'm just going to roll it and kind of glue around here so this sticks to itself, all right, with 
the glue gun. Nothing fancy. Now this is definitely not an outdoor thing. This is definitely an indoor project because you don't want the stuff um, in here to get wet in the beans or the rice. Oh, and the thing I was saying about the rice is you could, and I thought about this, but I wasn't using rice. I wonder if you could throw in some cloves or some cinnamon sticks or something like that to make it smell great too. Because uh, one of the reasons I don't use the rice is because I'm not a really big fan of the, um, the smell. I don't know why, it's weird, right? But uh, um, we have those rice uh, heating packs for your neck. I don't like it when it's heated up, right? Uh, I, I really don't care for the, the smell of it. Yeah, the, the scent would be nice. So you could put any kind of Christmas scent, but I think like whole cloves in with the rice or uh, whole cinnamon sticks, those things. I have ornaments I made with cinnamon sticks and apples, or sorry, cinnamon and applesauce, oh gosh, 25 years ago. And those things still have scent, right? It's purely cinnamon, uh, ground cinnamon and applesauce. You put it together, Maybe some some afternoon I'll make a craft with it. Super simple. And it comes like a becomes like a dough, and then you cut it out with your cookie cutters. The kids and I did it when they were very little, and uh, that I mean that lasted. Uh, it still has slight scent. Somebody was telling me if I dampen it a little bit, it will um, uh, renew the scent because it finally. You don't know this, but when I'm on camera, everything's reversed for me. So I'm trying to get that out of my hair. <laughs> All right, so we got that. I kind of like that. Now, I don't think you could reuse the sock now that we've hot glued it, but hey, that's okay. Um, and I'm gonna take this piece here and I'm gonna glue the heck out of it and get it in there. And that's gonna be Norman's beard, okay? So, load up the glue stick. If you have a bigger one, even better. And I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna go with lots of glue on here. Oops. go one of these days I'll spring for a big glue stick that doesn't find its way to my husband's shop all right if you can think of a better way to do this let me know this is just my way but hey it works for me I'm gonna put that in there I'm gonna just squeeze that sock around it and push it down Let's hold up his beard and see if we can't glue it in some more. So I'm just sticking a sock to the, uh, I'm sticking the sock, more of the sock. Let's see if I can do this where you can see, lift up Norman's beard. Uh, putting some glue in there and then it's kind of sticking the sock to it. Okay. All right. But I do have another way to do this too, and I'll show you with the, the Norman the First, okay? <laughs> because Norman the First is, he's a little tricky and he hides a few things. He's got some secrets, right? But it's all good for you. All right, so Norman, there's your hair. It's your hair and your beard, if you'll notice, all right? So now we just kind of need to straighten this out, get it. So it doesn't look so much like Cousin It. You can trim this if you want. I really like it super long. You can make the sock taller if you want, okay? Um, that's completely up to you too. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna flip that there so I can see what's happening without the comments. That's why I have the second phone going so I can see the comments down there and I can see what's happening up here at the same place. All right, so we have Norman's hair, beard, whatever. Uh, and we're just going to play with it, fluff it, squish them down the way we like, okay? Like I said, you can, I'm not going to because I have a reason for this, but um, you could make the sock taller, make Norman's beard longer, or you can trim it with some scissors. Obviously, it's going to be really fluffy though, so just so you know. All right, we have Norman. All right, we're done with the beans. Let's get that out of the way. Now, Norman needs a nose, and one of the things that I've discovered is this Norman has a bead for a nose, if you can see that. All right. Norman the first has a bead. Norman the second is not going to have a bead. He's going to have something else. 
So we're going to make a hat out of a sock. See the long sock? And we don't even need to cut it, okay? I'm gonna take the toe end of the sock and force it into here. Go further than, the, than uh, go a bit about like two or three inches past the heel, okay? On to, so you're pushing it in right about here. Just stuff it in there. Doesn't really matter all that much. I'm gonna push it all the way up if I can. There we go. Sock puppets. <laughs> yes, I really am this nutty. This is how I roll, okay? Like I say, if you're not up for crazy, probably not the place for you. Um, all right, so we have that done. All right, so we've stuffed the toe in there and the heel, and then we're going to put this on Norman's head. We're gonna put this on Norman's head, and we can flip that back a little bit if you want, but see that piece from the mop? Just holds it nice and firm. It makes it a cute little hat. So I'm gonna flip it over first and then put that on Norman's head. And there we have the beginning of his hat. All right, Norman, there we go. This backwards thing really gets me. So squeeze him up. Norman's been to the gym. <laughs> All right, all right, so your hat is floppy. I'm not, a, I don't do the big um, tall pointy hats, but you can certainly do that. Then you figure out a way to do it and show me how. I would love to see that. And I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to tie it with twine or ribbon or whatever else you happen to have, okay? Uh, Christmassy or not, I mean, if you're going for farmhouse, you could leave it with uh, farmhouse styles. You know what these look good with the sock monkey socks? You know those big woolly ones? That'd be really cute, I think. Um, so you can see, and the thicker the sock, the nicer the hat becomes too. All right, so I'm gonna take some twine, because I have that, and I'm going to just tie that sock off at the end and make it into a little hat. Now you could put it inside, you could sew it if you're a, uh, a sewer, like a, what do they call them, sewist? Seamstress, that's the word. I don't know if they use that anymore. Um, I'm just gonna, let's see. let's see. I think I'm gonna trim that down a tiny bit. There we go. So that's Norman the Second's hat. All right, and this is just a matter of decorating it now. Like you can take a little sprig and stick it right in that little flip part that we have there, the little flip over. This would look really good with those socks too that have the fleece on the inside because when you flip it back, you get the fleece like a, uh, like a Santa hat. That'd be awesome, okay? If anybody does that, please send me a picture, like post a picture below because I would love to see your, your uh... yeah, pom-pom would, would be cute, Laura Lee. Absolutely, and this is something else that I have. I have bells I bought at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I think I got red ones and silver ones for like, uh, well, a dollar obviously, for maybe 10 of these. So I did this on Norman, the first. I put a bell on the end of his hat, okay? And I threw in another sprig of, you could do holly or whatever you have, okay? Uh, I have these little stars too. I mean, you could glue that on there. So I think Norman's gonna have a silver bell. And literally, what you could do is put that rope right through there and just tie it on, which is what I think I'm gonna do, okay? So that we all can see how this might work. All right, so we'll undo this one. Try again. So I'm gonna get some rope, some twine. If you are a farmhouse style crafter, you can't have too much of this stuff. It's like you can't have too much jute, okay? All right, so I'm going to put my glasses on to see if I can see what's going on in here. I'm going to take, see, you can see these bells have that little part where you can put your ornament through. So I'm just going to slide that rope through there, hopefully. I might have to put some uh, tape on it to hold it together while I slide it through, but I hadn't planned this. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. All right. Go, no, not in the bell. Come through, come through. There we go. So I've got it sort of through. There we go. Okay. It's like an ornament now. And it is pulling a lot of the uh, rope there with it, but that's okay. 
I just want to tie it on there, okay? So, Norman, what do you think? You could glue it on, but why not tie it? You could wire it on. Um, all these things will work. Completely up to you. I'm going to just trim that wire rope down a bit. You should see my floor when I'm done here. <laughs> all right. See? Norman has a bell or whatever other thing you want to put on there. Um, I would probably pull it down a little further, maybe do towards the end next time. But I'm just going to leave it like that because Norman's a gnome. He doesn't really, he's not a fashion statement, right? He doesn't really care that much. <laughs> All right. So Norman the first still needs a nose. All right. I think, you know what? I think I'm going to trim these. They're bugging me. So let's give Norman a haircut. I'm just going to go as long as... He is, and the reason we used a sock that you can, that was patterned or decorated was because you might see some of it. Oh yeah, this is better. I have no idea what I could use all that for, but I'm sure I could think of something. I could glue it to something. So don't throw it away. That's better for this fella. I'll turn him around in a minute and give you, give you the bird's eye view. So I'm just cutting about an inch off. If you make them taller, you won't have to do that. And you don't have to make them all the same length. <laughs> Depends on how OCD you are, right? <laughs> Me, not so much. As I say, life has kind of beaten the OCD out of me and I'm okay with that. I'm fine with it. I don't want to be too, too perfect. I want to be perfectly imperfect, just the way we are, right? All of us are different. Everything I make is different. Hopefully everything you make is different than what I make and you add your own self to it. That's the beauty of crafts is, it's not just a thing that you made for somebody, but it's the love and the time that you put into it for them. That's what, I think people really appreciate you thought about them, you worked on it for them, you spent some time doing it for them. All right. He's got a few strands here that need a little clip. There we go. Okay. So that's better, I think. All right. Stand up there, Norman. Get back to the gym. There we go. Like a so. And see, so you can see his body through there from time to time, right? So don't worry too much about that. So our last step is to make a nose for Norman and you can use a beer, a beer, don't use a beer. <laughs> beer is not how you do it. You can use a wooden bead. Uh, the only problem with them is they, they have these holes in them. I mean, you can fill them in, you can paint it and all that. That just depends on how talented you are, okay? Uh, the other thing that we can do that I was having somebody over for a painting party here the other night, a private lesson. She was painting a sleigh with me. And she's been making gnomes, so she gave me a great tip. Her name is Kathy, and Kathy, if you're watching, thank you so much. And now I'm going to share it with the entire world, um, at least on Facebook. Is she used pantyhose, those old pantyhose that nobody wears anymore, some stuffing, and some elastic. Okay, and of course, our favorite. Um, let me get that out of the way. Our favorite. So it doesn't come apart because this you like this is going to be around for a few years so you don't want that to you don't want the elastic to dry out and, and break and then you have no nose um so what she, what she did what i figured out what she told me was cut up a piece of pantyhose and take some stuffing do you remember we had stuffing for what did we stuff last time oh those fabric trees behind me so we had some stuffing from that or an old pillow or you name it um, it's just this little bit of white stuffing and that's way too much, okay? And then I'm going to trim this, open it up. Because I, I want Norman's nose to be very see-through. All right. Norman the second. 
It's going to have a different nose than Norman the first. That's how we'll tell them apart, you know, because they're twins, right? All right, so there's your one layer of pantyhose. Steal them from whoever has them still. Old pairs that have runs in them that you're saving for some reason, this is perfect because you only need a little bit. Then take a little bit of the foam and squish it up, or not foam, the stuffing. Really doesn't take much, okay? Uh, this is from inside of a cushion and I'm saving it for something else. And then grab your pantyhose around it. and make yourself pull down the sides. Okay. Get it all together like in one little bundle. Okay. Then grab yourself an elastic to make this a little easier because you need about 13 hands if you're trying this. These also came from the Dollar Tree and they're like 500 for a buck. So, all right, I'm going to elastic right over the nose and then just play with it squish it and there you have a nose for Norman all right you can make it as big as you like that's the thing with these gnomes they have big noses they have small noses but I'm also not going to just leave the elastic there yes a drawer pull would work Catherine for sure yep um, there's so many ways to go. It's You have what you have at your house. I have some crystal vintage um, drawer pulls that I've been saving for a project. I don't really think they're for a gnome, but uh, one of these days I'm going to use them for something. You'll see them. I took them off another project and I've been saving them forever. And So I just twist, run this around a couple of times and then I'm going to tie it in a knot and trim that off so that it will last forever until that pantyhose gives out, I guess, you know? So if you think a pantyhose is gonna give out, then get yourself a, um, get yourself a bead and use that or a drawer pull or whatever you have. All right, so Norman's nose is official, okay? So you have the beaded nose and the, and the, uh, Pantyhose nose. I don't know what we're going to call this. <laughs> and glue gun is your friend. So I'm going to turn Norman around for a minute so I can see him face on where I figure I want the nose to go. And see, I'm kind of going to go with this right there. So right up by the hat, right onto the, uh, right onto the bottom layer, let's say, of the uh, mop. Don't so don't put it right on the top, but go back in a little bit, but not right to the sock, okay? Because you don't you want this stuff to stay um, not pushed apart by the nose. All right, then we're gonna trim them a bit, trim them a bit. Here we go. Lots of glue, lots of glue, lots of glue, but be careful. All right, we have a ton of glue on there. Norman's nose is going right there. Push, hold Norman's nose. <laughs> so simple, okay? Watch the glue. I just got some on my finger. I don't think I even have any fingerprints left. I've got so much hot glue on them over the years, right? Um, I don't think I need these. So there we go. Norman has a sprig of whatever you like in this hat. I also have ribbon from the dollar store and I know I made a little bow here somewhere and it's disappeared on me. I'll make another one. So I'm just going to flip this over, twist up a bow. There we go. And then snip that off. And we'll decide, does Norman's bow go there? I think it might go here on the, on the end of his hat. So Norman's, I think he still needs a little bit of a trim, but that's okay. Again, squish him up. There, Norman's back to the gym. 
to the beach, to the bar, to the beach. Who knows that one? <laughs> you have to be my age probably to understand what I was talking about there. How is everyone doing? Is, are, is anybody going to make some of these? If you do, please let me know. I love when I inspire people to do something. Um, that's what I, that's my jam. It really is, is to help people. So what do you think? Should I put it right there on top of the bell? All right. Oh, Laura. Yeah, I bet you're going to make some. I want to see, I want to see your gnome, gnome forest or whatever it is you're going to make, right? Cause I know for sure you're going to be good at this. So I'm going to just pop that right there. Hot glue that on. Get rid of these spider webs. A uh, little tip for the spider webs for the hot glue is you can hit it with a blow dryer just on warm for a second and they'll disappear. Okay. That's for any time you're hot gluing something and you're getting those little webs all over the place. Um, all right. So Norman is complete. All right. We have Norman the first. There we go. And Norman the second. All right. They are, let me get them everybody in the picture together. <laughs> So they are little soft gnomes, brothers, hey, okay, brothers. I'm actually doing this for a reason. I'll be taking pictures later and posting this, so that's what that's for. I'll be able to grab it off the video, I hope. Um, so you can see Norman with the glued on nose over here, or the not glued on nose, look, it likes to kind of push because I've wired it on. So you have to play around with him a bit more. But there's a reason for this, because I wanted this one to be removable. So this Norman is all glued together and he's not going anywhere. You just have to trim up his little beard and he's done. Okay, so Norman the first, but I wanna show you a little secret. Okay. The original Norman that I made, okay, goes with my mason jar. And I took the other sock, I cut it off. That's the, the top, you know, the, where you put your leg in and I put it over my mason jar, all right? This Norman comes apart. And he actually originally sits on the mason jar, okay? So this Norman was made, let me fix his nose so you can't tell, to hide my Christmas treats. My kids will never know where the good stuff is, right? So you can put, you can give this as a gift, I would say. So all, like I said, I made it, you could glue that on. You just wouldn't glue the mop part to your body, okay? You just work on it right on top of here and build it. There, oh, Lorelei, you were thinking about changing, doing a mason jar? It's so smart. <laughs> I mean, I think I thought of it. I'm sure somebody else has thought of it before, but when I came up with it, I'm like, oh, what a great place to hide stuff from the kids. <laughs> I mean, I love my kids, but I don't want them eating my chocolate, right? I mean, I draw the line. There's a limit to what I'm willing to do for my children. So we have Norman the Gnome, the Sock Gnome, okay? Which is the standard gnome made with a sock as tall as you want. Norman the Mason Jar Gnome hides whatever you like um, inside your mason jar. So you can make this with whatever sock you like. This is what I use. I just used one pair of socks to make Norman and We'll just, there we go. Nobody will ever know what happened with Norman. Okay. So did you guys enjoy the video? I hope you did. I hope that you'll stick around for the, at the Farmhouse Decor DIY Club because I love to inspire you guys. I love to do crafts for you guys. And um, uh, I hope that it was good for you. So uh, let me know if you're going to make any of these, if you're hiding candy at your home. Make Norman the mason jar. Norman the first. Norman the second. Make them and give them away. Norman the first. You could, you know, you could make them and give them away. You could put things in it. So you could surprise your gift giver or your, your re, uh, what do you call it? The receptor, the receiver. Anyway, so cheers. I hope you have a great day. I am off to uh, go visit some friends and have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend, you guys. And I will post some pictures later. And if you make these, please post. Please add here or post to my page and I will put them on the page so people can see your work. All right. Because it's not just about inspiring you, but it's about sharing uh, what you're doing. So other people we can admire, right? Because who doesn't like to hear, oh, great job. 
okay? All right, so cheers, have a great day. Bye-bye, I love you all, bye-bye.